Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Like I said, part one, pretty good haul this week. This is some other stuff I found on my trip. And um, a few online stuff I got from Plan B sales. So I thought it'd be a good like, part two of last week's um, walk and scan haul. So yeah, so let's get let's crack open some cars. Starting off with um, this one I found in the store before I got for the trip. And there's a uh, bag of last week's Castro number six car. I'm going to find this train scheme. I think it's a pretty cool. Um, this last week, train scheme had some really cool schemes last year, too. So, I get a new one. I get excited. Here's a sticker. Um, but yeah, it's a cool car. I like the way it looks. Love that pastel green with the red there. The number six, cool. It's authentic sign, so the number. It doesn't have those foil numbers, but still pretty cool. Cool to add this to the collection. It's a pretty cool Castro car. So yeah, that's a cool Brad Kislaski car to find. Next up, the new the next wave I found in a Walmart up north. So I had to pick one of the one from that set. Starting with Brandon Jones, number nine Menards car. Cool to get um, Brandon Jones, number nine Menards car, especially since. I did see him and got his autograph in person this this year, which was really cool at Watkins Glen. So, so yeah, uh, here's a sticker. And then here's the car. Pretty cool scheme. Um, I like these Menard schemes and stuff with like Blaney. So it's cool to get a Brandon Jones one as well. So that's pretty cool. Menards right there. It's a pretty cool scheme. I like this one a lot. So it's just cool to get Brandon Jones in my car this year because I'm I like Gina Motorsports, so I like it in your cars. So that one's pretty cool. So I'm glad I got that one to the collection. Next up, another uh, one from this current wave is uh, Josh Berry's Tires Pro car. Cool to get the alternative color of this one. One of a big, I like Josh Berry too. Just, I want to get this one. It's two more sorts. And he's become my third favorite driver after Larson and Byron. So, here's the sticker it comes with. Here's the car. It's a pretty cool looking paint scheme. I had the other, his main version of this, but this is like a different version of the car, but this one's pretty cool. Yeah, this is a pretty cool one to find. I think this is this year's scheme. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool car. I like the way it looks. Yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, tires for an array car. That's pretty cool. Next up is Chris Busher's Casino Spa Resort number 17 car. Cool to find this one. Um, this is from last year's. So it was exclusive for this Athenics sticker comes with. So I had to pick this one up just because I don't have that many Busher cars in my collection. This one's pretty cool. I like the way it looks. Yeah, looks really cool. Like those rims. Like that paint scheme. It's a cool car to add to the collection. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Nothing crazy, but that's a cool car. So I like that one. Next up are two finds I found that from Plan B Sales. Um, like this first one was waiting for me when I got home, and I just kept Kyle Larson's uh, Valvoline scheme for this year. Cool to finally get this one, being a being my favorite driver. And I like this Halloween scheme a lot. Last year's was okay. Not as good as his 2021. But I like this one the most of the three. It's easily my favorite Halloween scheme. It's like the white on top. Number five and the Valvoline there. It's just cool. Really cool scheme. Yeah, this is a cool car. I'm really glad I had this to the collection. 
Especially being a Larson fan. Trying to get all his paint scheme sale. Yeah, it's a really cool car. Really glad I got this one. So that's pretty cool. Glad to find that one. Next up is another car from Penang Resales, and it's Kyle Larson's uh, Homestead win from last year. Cool to finally get this one. I was at this race, and uh, so cool to see him win t two, twice in one year, because I saw him in Watkins Glen. So I had to get this car. So this is a cool race version. All the confetti on it. Has some damage there from the, from the actual race. Just a really cool paint scheme. Really like this car. It's just so cool to add this to the collection finally. So that's just cool. Cool to get this race version. And uh, yeah, just so glad I finally got this car. But that's really cool. It looks, it's a really cool race version too. Better than the Homestead. My Homestead. Better than the uh, Walk and Skin and the uh, Auto Club. My favorite of the three wins, so this is really cool. Well, my favorite win to see was the Glen and Homestead, but the uh, Diecast version, that's probably my favorite. Next up, all the rest of these cars are finally Pambi sales, which I'm so glad I finally went there. I've heard so many great things about other, from other U NASCAR YouTubers and uh, diecast collectors and I finally got went there and I found some cool stuff and stuff I've been wanting to add to the collection for a while starting off with is a uh, Kyle Larson's uh, Bristol win from 2021 who to finally find this I'm like I'm trying to find more of his uh, wins he had some other ones there but I was kind of on a budget and stuff because I didn't have that much money left in the week before in Watkins Glen but this is a really cool car Really cool to have this race version. It doesn't have any uh, confetti on it, but it has some body damage on it. Like the back right there. So that's really cool. Has some dirt on it from the race. This is also a pretty cool Valvoline scheme. I like his, this year's version, but this is definitely my second favorite of the two. So this is a cool one to have. So glad I got this one as a collection. So that's pretty cool. It's a cool Valvoline scheme. Next up is uh, a camping rule truck. It is a uh, Haley Deegan's Worcester number one car. I mean truck. Really cool to get this one. I do like Haley Deegan a little bit still. Not as much as I used to, but I still like supporting her because I think she's a pretty good driver. I don't like all the hate she's getting. That's just me. Anyways. It's a pretty cool truck from last year. I, I do like this scheme a lot. It's probably one of my favorite schemes I've heard that I have. It's white. It's pretty cool. I love that number one. This is a cool car. Really got to add this to the collection. Main truck, that car. But yeah, it's a cool truck. I like the way it looks. This is a cool paint scheme she had last year. I do miss her in the one car before, but she's in the 13 this year. It's still a pretty cool scheme. So I'm glad I got this one into the collection. So that's pretty cool. So I'm glad I found that truck. Next up is Ryan Blaney's 2023 Body Armor Camel Car. I had to add this one to the collection because it's a pretty famous scheme now for this year because he won the Coke 600 with it. And plus, I had to get it because um, it was a sweep for... Penske that weekend, my driver, IndyCar driver winning the 500, so I had to pick the scheme up. And it's a cool scheme. I just like the way it looks with the body armor, bottle right there, and this camo scheme is really cool. So this is an awesome car, really cool. Number 12 Ford car. And yeah, I'm really glad I got this one to add to the collection. Just a cool scheme and cool car to add to the collection. So I'm really glad to add this. I not, might not be as big a Blaney fan as it used to be, but I do like his cars. And this is one of my favorite to find. So that's a cool car. i still got to get that one to the collection. Next up, this car I wanted to add to the collection for the longest time, being a junior fan. I finally found it. And it's Dylan Hart Jr.'s 2000, 
2011 National Guard car. The box is kind of yellowed, but the car is still in perfect condition. So I'm really glad to finally add this to the collection, being a Dale Jr. fan. So I can't, you can't beat that. Such a cool car. I have always really liked this paint scheme. One of my favorite junior schemes. I love this National Guard scheme. Even more than his AM scheme back in 2011. But I love his schemes from that year. They're both really cool. This National Guard scheme is really cool. Not as good as 2014, but it's the second best National Guard scheme is this one. So it's just a cool car to finally add to the collection. I love the way it looks. It's just a cool scheme. And yeah, it's a cool car. I'm really glad I finally add this to the collection. So that one's really cool. Next up is these next year actually paint, same paint scheme just different drivers but I had to get both of them because they're kind of rare and that is Daniel Suarez jockey number 99 car I had to get this one I bought my bought my aunt one because it's her favorite driver I regret not getting me one but I, I, I saw in the 07 collectibles and like I had to pick this one up and I had to pick up the next one up too because that one's even harder to find but this number, nine, number 99 jockey car is really cool Red, white, and blue. Just a cool car. I do like Suarez. He's a pretty cool driver. So, this is a cool car to add to the collection. So glad I got both of these Jackie cars. And 99 was really cool. Just a cool scheme. Love that red, white, and blue. Just a cool one to add to the collection. So, that's a cool car. So glad I had this one. So, that one's awesome. And next up... It's Ross Chastain's Jackie car as well. There was just the only one left. It's such a hard car to find. So I had to add this one to the collection. Um, it was cool seeing him in person. And uh, yeah, I'm just, this car is just so cool. Number one Jackie, Jockey car is just an awesome paint scheme. Love that red, white, and blue. With the number one right there. Just a cool car, cool paint scheme. So glad to add this to the collection. And it was so cool meeting Ross Chastain this this year as well. So this is just a cool paint scheme. That's a really cool car. So glad to add this to the collection as well. Can't believe I got both these jockey cars. And this one's just really cool. Next up is actually a new 2022 Indy car. And that is uh, Joseph Newgarden's number two. Uh, it's right, it's right, Joseph Newgarden's number two RP... PPG car from this year. I had to get this car because he's my Indy car driver and I saw that it was seven collectibles and like I need to pick that up. So I did. Such a cool uh, paint scheme. Here's the car that comes with. But such a cool car. Really like this paint scheme. This PBG scheme is cool. I have um, Scott McLaughlin's number three car in this scheme. I had to get New Garden as well because he's my driver. But it's such a cool scheme. And it's been sold out in Clamby Sales for the longest time, so I had to pick it up at OSM the Collectibles. So it's just a cool paint scheme. Really glad to finally add this to the collection. It's just a cool car. And uh, yeah, this is just a cool. Any card to add to the collection, so I'm really glad to find this one and add to the collection. So that one's really cool. Next up is uh, Bill Elliott's number nine, uh, Brick Car 400 win from 2000, I think three or two, one of those two years. Could have found this because I always wanted to have a Bill Elliott number nine car when he was driving for Dodge. So I'm really glad to find this one. So it comes with this hood, which is cool. It has actual magnets in the back, so that one's really cool. The car itself is really cool. I love these old Dodge um, stock cars from the early 2000s. And this is a cool car. It has a brick car thing. I don't... That's pretty cool. But the car itself is just awesome. I love these old Gen 4 cars, and this Dodge is just cool. Cool to have a Bill Elliott number 9 car as well. I have a few... Casey Kane's, but getting the Bill Elliott one, so it's really cool to add to the collection. So yeah, this is a cool car. Really cool Dodge. 
um, sound car. I forget what this car is based off of, but it's a really cool car. So I'm really glad I added this to the collection. It's a cool Bill Elliott car, so that one's awesome. The last thing I found this week, and probably one of the best things I found at 07 Collectibles, I had to pick this up. I've been looking for this game for years, being a junior fan. Just as long as I've been looking for the cars from last week, that I found that is Devin Hart Jr.'s 2001 All Star car that he won. I had to put this up because he won this race. Nick, first time he went back to Daytona out with his dad, and I wanted this paint scheme for that long. And finally having it, I know it's not the Budweiser, this game's the, ch the child version of it. I didn't care. I wanted this scheme so badly in my collection. Comes with this really cool sticker. And I'm just so glad I finally have this in my collection. Such an iconic paint scheme. Like I said, it's Dale Jr. on it instead of Budweiser. I didn't I didn't care. I needed to add this to the collection. Such a famous paint scheme and famous win. So glad I add this to the collection. It's just a cool paint scheme. So that's just cool. So glad I finally add that to the collection. So that's all I found this week. Pretty decent haul, can't complain, some cool stuff, some great cars I found, so, yeah. Um, so next week we're going to go back to the regular cars, these, these last few weeks were just kind of special hauls and stuff, but OSM Collectibles, um, I got a shout out, real, shout out to them real quick, Game of 10% off because it was my first time there, it really is, it's a great store, and, um, next time I go up there I'm definitely going to go back, it's... Everything I heard about it was so true, and it gave me a discount for my first time there, which is great, 10% discount. So, it's a place if you're a NASCAR fan, I definitely recommend going to. It's really cool. One of the coolest diecast places, so, yeah. If it wasn't for them, I would have found some stuff I've been looking for for a long time, so. So, yeah, they're a really cool place, I definitely recommend. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. One more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and notification bell. See you guys in the next video, and I'll talk to you guys next time.